Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Want Beef. I'm your host, Neil Rubenstein. Uh, filling in for Andrew Bergen is Mike Kennedy. Hello. Uh, I always forget if I do something at the beginning. Do I say what the episode is? Today we're going to be talking about cereal. Sugar cereal? Are we specific? I'm going to say sugar cereal. I mean, Because there's I, no other cereal. I don't eat any non... I'm not a regular Cheerios man. Right, so it's yeah. just, yeah, there's no Special K, right? Okay, so it's... Well, Special K does have the, especially this time of year, they have the pumpkin ones that come with these little, like, yogurt things, and that's pretty good. The normal Special K, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, you can't, I guess you can't blanket Special K. There's some that are decent. <laughs> Beef. Mike Kennedy filling in for Andrew Bergen. I'm Neil Rubenstein. Uh, today's episode is sugar cereal. Yeah. And you're, um, is it an addiction? Is it a hobby? Is it a, is it an obsession? Long running diet staple? Long running diet <laughs> staple. Uh, just De by default become like just the thing that if I walk into a store I look at the cereal aisle but you know, I'll go, there'll be times like the past year year and a half two years even I would say like there hasn't been many new good cereals so I haven't eaten as much cereal actually really yeah well oh because of COVID you think like just production's down I don't I don't know because that's what I was thinking like because I think it started before that actually that it was kind of a drought of the new cereals that were coming out were just really crappy, like they weren't trying. Like, it, it's just other cereals repackaged. Essentially, kind of yeah. Because you were telling me, we tried this before and I've made a terrible error. Previously you've said that like, like unicorn farts or whatever, yeah. it's just like Fruity Pebbles without the this or this. Or this yeah, like. or it's like, it's like Fruit Loop, or it's like just rings. Kellogg's is, is the main call for it. Notorious. Yes. Just it's making. just Fruit Loops with different food colorings and different... Mm -hmm. Not good, <clears throat> not good. <clears throat> what, what's your... <laughs> uh, so yeah, you were talking about this time of year, so... Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of limited edition. Because I, I know, like, in the candy world, like, Malamars or whatever is, like, limited edition to this time of year. Like, is there, like, you were saying Special K is, like, whatever, but I know, like, Boo Berry or whatever. The, uh, well, yeah, the monster cereals are always the classic Halloween thing, which are wonderful. Though I feel like their cereal piece to marshmallow ratio in recent years has become problematic. And so I, I am sitting in front of, as I pour my bowl, I then sit in front of the trash can and throw away half the cereal pieces just to get to a normal, like, ratio. And which one is that? Or all the monsters? All the monsters. And it's, it's Count Chocula. Yes. I know Frankenberry. Yes. And Boo Berry. Boo Berry is popular. And then there's, like, you have, like, eight more. Well, there's two more, but they've only made those once in the past, like, 20 years. And one's, like, a mummy? A uh, yummy mummy. Yummy mummy. <laughs> And Fruit Brute. Fruit Brute. I feel like I remember those, though. They were around, you know, like, early 80s. So is and Frankenberry is strawberry. Mm -hmm. Blueberry is blueberry. Mm -hmm. Can chocolate is chocolate. Yeah. Fruit Brute is Fruit Loops. What were they? Uh, one's orange. And I forget what the other one. It's been a couple years and I've already forgotten what they are. Hmm. They're always the lesser. That's why they haven't okay. stuck around. And, and, okay, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 you go ahead. And I was like, well, this year, I haven't been able to find a box, but this year they have the Monster Mash. And Which is all of them. It's supposedly a mix of all of them. But it's probably not. I, I, I read some review that it didn't have much in the way of chocolate. So it's fruit, it's, well, what's the one with all the, well, what do those look like? Are they balls or rings? No, they're like, they're like shaped, I mean, they would be rings if they weren't shaped like ghosts. Oh. And then the marshmallows are just different shapes. So it's Lucky Charms. It's, it's Lucky Charms-ish, but the flavor is different. Okay. How do you feel about Lucky Charms? I love Lucky Charms. You do love Lucky Charms. Yes. To me, it doesn't taste like anything. It's just like sugar. It just tastes like, it's just sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the pieces, though, for? have a little bit of like, 
I don't know, breadiness or whatever. Like it's a little oaty. It's oats, right? Oaty. Okay. And uh, what's the craziest? Or what's? Is there anything you like? You like look for that's like hard to find? Well, right now, apparently, so there's the Kellogg S'more cereal, S-M-O-R-Z, that is one of the best cereals ever made. Like, one of my favorites. Okay. They discontinued it a few years ago, which bummed me out. And now they've supposedly brought it back, but I've only been able to find a box once, and I haven't been able to find any more, and so that's bumming me out. So that's, that's a rarity. Can you order it online, or that's not <sighs> fun? For you. It's not as fun, but I had even having trouble with that, and it's they claim it's back, but it's it's not bad. limited, li you, very su too limited. Yeah, and there's two s'more cereals though. Yes. What's the other one? The other one smelled spells like you would think of s'mores. It's just kind of a mix of cereals. It's like golden grams, cocoa puffs, and then marshmallows, and it's wonderful too. Don't get me wrong. But it's not as good it's as not, S'mores it's, with a Z. It's not as good or as unique. And S'mores with a Z is Kellogg's? Yes. And S'mores is General Mills? Oh, I think it's Post? Post. But then there's also a Malta Meal one that's exactly the same and just as good. Oh, that's super cheap, right? Yeah, and uh, Malta Meal's like... And I think Post bought Mo Malta Meal, which is why uh, I think the Malta Meal cereals have suddenly same. gotten good. Because uh, it used to be terrible. But they're the same, like, I always thought it was like the same. Like, my mom would get me, instead of, because Frosted Flakes isn't called Frosted Flakes, it's like Frosted mm -hmm. Flakes of Corn or something. So my mom would get me, like, Corn Flakes Frosted, <laughs> like, whatever. And I was like, dude, sucks, but really it was, like, fine. It was just as good. I don't know, because I... didn't I, think it was just as good. Well, when I, I, I never had the generics as a kid, but when I first was living on my own, it was cheap and needed to save money, I bought some of those. Like, I remember buying the Fruity Pebbles, and it was fucking terrible. It tastes like nickels or something. <laughs> I hated it. Well, you accidentally got Fruity Nickels. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, fries at the 20 cents at the bottom. <laughs> like, shit. Like, this sounds like... <laughs> what? And then, what's the craziest cereal? Because, like, I know that, like... People send you stuff now, right? Like you're like notoriously. I've had a couple things where people will grab me things like uh, this band Red City Radio that I recorded. When they awesome, were in... unbelievable band. Check them out. Yes. Um, when they were in Japan, they got me some cereal. Is that the dog food cereal? Yeah. It smelled like dog food, but it was good. Explain that. It I... smelled really like dog food. Yeah. I opened the bag and I was like. And then I tried it. And it was actually pretty good. It was kind of like, a, it was similar to what Crave cereal is here, but it tastes a lot better than Crave. I don't like it. How do you get past that? I don't know, it's more than milk on it. It's fine. I, I feel, <laughs> that's the worst answer I've ever gotten. Because <laughs> I don't know, like, if I smell, like, that for me, like, smell is like, I don't know, 50 to 60% of the process. Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> but that's like a thing, too, where... Yeah, the, the bag kind of has the smell, but when you actually pour it in the bowl and you're eating it, you're not really smelling. Like when you eat a cereal, you're not typically really smelling much of it as you're eating it. Yeah, but if I open a bag of whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the same. I got some uh, cookie butter from Trader Joe's yesterday, and uh, Don't it's, tell me. it's stunk too. I was uh, like, this smells terrible, but man, it tastes good. It's got butter. crunchy. It's got little crystals in cookie it. Cookie butter is a weird one, man. It's wonderful. How many gold records do you have? Um, how, uh, we have three records of one gold? But then some of those are platinum. <laughs> how many platinum? <laughs> how many platinum? Um, oh, I didn't even see that. Well, two, and then that one went double platinum. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am it wonderful. I, I brought it up. I brought it up. My bad. My bad. Has there ever been a cereal where you're like, has there ever been a cereal that like they changed the formula and you're like, I'm never eating this cereal again? Um, Rice Krispie Treats cereal. 
<laughs> they <do all> <laughs> it's like it's Rice Krispie treat cereal. Like it's like a okay. So Rice Krispies found out that people were using their cereal for something other than cereal, and they made that a cereal. Yes, <laughs> and it was so good. Again, one of the best cereals, and it was just like clumps of shit, and it was so good though. And then they changed it a couple years ago to essentially just be Rice Krispies with little marshmallows in it. And it's fucking oh, less flavor and so it like it was broken up Rice Krispie treats essentially. Essentially, and now it's just the ingredients of mm. Rice Krispie treats. Okay, and and it's it's staying that way. Like people haven't like freaked out on the internet and like they convinced have. them to change it back. I know people have, but it hasn't worked yet. And have they when Rice Krispie? Treats was a cereal, and it was the good kind. Mm -hmm. Did anybody make Rice Krispie Treats cereal treats? That is a good question. Because those would be amazing. Like, if you broke up Rice Krispie Treats and then remade <laughs> Rice Krispie Treats, it would just be like double marshmallow. I do wonder how it would be, because the, the cereal... The pieces are harder than a normal Rice Krispie. Oh, so maybe, be, maybe it would be like hard to eat. Maybe. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what would happen. I had a um, weed edible Rice Krispie treat. Mm -hmm. How was it? It's pretty, it tastes, <laughs> like, it tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. It wasn't that potent. Although my buddy Ryan, <laughs> should I say his name? I won't say his name. I'll say his name. My buddy Ryan in Connecticut, I just watched him eat one and it was 400 milligrams. Which is a lot, if you don't know. That's, yeah, like, like I'm good on 10 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> for, just like bop 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 like at like at a comedy show before the show just was he performing no yeah. but still I yeah mean, he had to like exist yeah in public <laughs> i mean i guess it kicks in on i guess it kicks in like right when he gets home from there because it's like takes mm. like an hour and a half or something i don't know still regardless <clears throat> Uh, I had so many good questions last time, I fucking blew it. Well, there's another really good seasonal one right now. That what, I was, what? Uh, the pumpkin uh, frosted mini wheats are very delicious. I think you told me about, I think you were trying to sell me on frosted mini wheats last time. Frosted mini wheats are great. That's one, I mean, we talked about a discontinued thing that I'm still upset about. And? Which was the... Uh, vanilla cream frosted mini wheats. We're the best frosted mini wheats ever, and it's the like the only one they've ever discontinued. It drives me crazy. So they have all the other flavors of frosted mini wheats. Pretty and much. Not that good. Yeah. Why? Why would they do that? I don't know. It's just it was like because frosted mini wheats are sugary and good, and it's just like up from that. <laughs> it was like more sweet frosted mini wheats. It was great. Are they? Isn't it like? Pardon me. <laughs> That's Slim Chicken's uh, Chicken Express going. <laughs> Am I thinking of the wrong thing? What's what's the the cereal where it's just like one? It's just like one thing, and you just put it in. <laughs> I look. I see people eating it. It's like it's just like you put it on the box. It's like clunk clunk. Those, <laughs> and you put yeah. Milk and then you break it up to eat it. That is. Is well, that that's why, Well, those aren't many. It's frosted wheat. I yeah. I don't know. Have those? Did those ever come frosted? I think. So I, what? What? What do they call it? It's just wheat. I think it's just shredded wheat. Shredded wheat. But it was one clump, mm -hmm. of, and you had to shred it. Yeah. <laughs> That's bonkers to me. I'm not into that. I see people eating it, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" And that I think that's why I don't like, or I have like a mental block against frosted mini wheat. Because mm. I just think it's going to be that. No, it's better than that. <laughs> they are still even kind of like... I think for a while they had even smaller ones, but they quit doing that. Um, but I could even go... I mean, they're, they're not bad how they are, but sometimes I am like, man, this could be half the size. <laughs> yeah. And what's the... Dude, is Chex a cereal? Mm hmm Because... The snack mix is always very good. Yeah, but the snack mix usually is they're adding extra spices and 
That's not the cereal. You're not get like you can't get just the snack mix. Check snack mix checks cereal. Um, I mean no. Well, they have some checks that are flavored, but the regular checks are uh, pretty bland. And then what you think of when you think of the mix? There's usually other things in that that are added. Hmm. And and <clears throat> you mentioned last time. And just for the viewers, the Toast Crunch line, uh -huh. what do they got? Because <laughs> um, I only ever think of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Well, but apparently there's like... There's a new one that I need to find that's, um, is it Apple Pie Toast Crunch? Something like that? Apple? There's some kind of apple one that's like a, the new seasonal one this year. Is Which, it Cinnamon Apple? Or just Apple? Uh, I just saw like someone post about it online. I haven't found it yet. Um, but I'm I'm bummed because I think that's gonna replace sugar to sugar cookie toast crunch, which has been the Christmas one for the past few years, and it's awesome. And then there's also what French toast crunch. French toast crunch. Sugar cookie toast crunch. Yeah. Okay, cinnamon toast crunch, apple whatever toast crunch. Yeah. Well, then there's. Dulce de Leche Toast Crunch, which is the near one, which is why I think they're not doing sugar cookie because they're kind of similar. Okay. Um, but then, so those are all in the normal, like what you think of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like they're the same style, but French Toast Crunch is like a completely different cereal, but it's wonderful. It's a different cereal. Yeah, totally different. It's like, instead of like the thin squares, it's like smaller, chunkier, like bread shaped squares, and it's like maple flavored. So it probably doesn't get, like, it doesn't take on the milk as well. No, you definitely have to let it soak because it's a harder cereal. But it's, it's a harder cereal. It's delicious. So is, that so, is that something you look for? Like, in a, like, when you try new cereals, you're like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to get soggy quicker. This is going to be this quicker. This is going to destroy the top of my mouth. No, I mean, as long as it tastes good. Because there's this one a few years ago that was a Keebler cookie cereal and it was like cereal pieces but then like real pieces of like chocolate chip cookie in it and those would immediately turn to mush and kind of just sink to the bottom and it in, in some ways it's like this is just gross it's mush but it tasted really good and I liked it <laughs> yeah I'm also on board for that because like you know how like when you do like cookies and milk mm -hmm. and then like at the end like a couple of guys got away, and like it's just like, I, I don't know. Well, then you would have liked it. Or yeah, I probably would have liked it. I uh, think I don't eat cereal because like I just I'd have diabetes for sure. <laughs> like I mean I'm skating, you know. I'm just, <laughs> like it's nipping at my heels. <laughs> Can't get me. But like it'll get me. <laughs> what uh, when did this? Do we? cover this just now when did this start for you i don't know i've always eaten growing up mm -hmm. cereal was a, and your parent your, your parents or, or mom or dad like they weren't like like mike you have to eat something else no they just let you just they were like all right he just eats pizza chicken fingers and oh no like you know i had to eat normal dinners and stuff but breakfast they never yeah, cereal yeah. it could be cereal every day no problem yeah, they. I mean, it was, and they didn't, you know, try to restrict what kind or anything. Do you do you do other breakfast foods? Yeah, I mean, I like. Like when you're in New York, you ever get like a bacon, egg, and cheese? Is that like a particular New York thing? You know what? <laughs> I can't. I'm mad that I said it because New York thinks it's a New York thing, but it is everywhere, and specifically elsewhere, you can get it on a biscuit, which is way better. Not a roll. <laughs> oh, it comes on a roll. In New York, it comes on a roll or a bagel. That's the one, the bagel, that's like, because, like, you can't get good bagels anywhere. And you kind of, as much as I hate, <laughs> I like, you know, I hate that stereotype, mm. but, like, yeah, something about bagels everywhere else, like, they really haven't gotten it. Because, right? like, mm. Einstein bagels isn't. It's fine. I would eat it. And I'd eat Lenders or Thomas's or whatever or the store brand at home is fine. Mm -hmm. But there's something about like a fresh bagel, Long Island, New York, New Jersey area that hasn't really been 
Do you eat? <laughs> do you eat breakfast sandwiches? <laughs> um, it's not like super often, but I do, and I enjoy them. Like I'll go to Jack in the Box or Sonic, and but I'm a sausage sausage guy instead of bacon. I love that it was Jack in the Box. <laughs> Dude, there. Like, oh, I got a. You have like a million good breakfast options in the city. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'll go to Jack in the. Well, I'm gonna get a breakfast sandwich. That was the first thing you thought of. Well, because I don't ever eat breakfast sandwiches at a restaurant like that. All right. Like something like that. You don't that, go to jam or something. You won't go. To, no, like, I'll get some kind of you know, probably like a. Yeah, you know, like a Mexican breakfast. Oh, huevos rancheros. Yeah, that just, kind oh of my thing. god, so good. So when you like, let's say we're at a, let's say we're at a hotel and they have the breakfast. Mm. Do you do like eggs and bacon, or you go and you get the like the the single serve Fruit Loop thing? Oh, I get the, I get sausage and, and eggs. And then you take the single serve for later. Maybe for the I, bus. <laughs> usually, at those situations, I won't eat cereal because it's like something different, you know. It's like I can get cereal anytime. Oh, okay. So oh, so okay. It's. But you're not like that with pizza. What do you mean? Well, I guess because you can't get that pizza. So I remember we were in New York and you're like, I don't have to get pizza. <laughs> yeah. But I guess it's because we were in New York. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anywhere where there's like certain things I know I like, I'll make sure and get right, that. Right, right, right. Huh. And how did you feel? Because I remember we went to Milk, Milk Bar? We went to some like... We went to some ice cream place oh, yeah. that was like all breakfast themed. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's like a common thing now. Like that kind of popped up in the years since then. Mm -hmm. Was Is that something you back or you're uh, like, no, that's bastardizing the product? Or, oh, you know, no, I'll, I'll try whatever. And you like the bastardization of product too. Oh, I'm fine with it. Yeah, but like across the board too. Like, it, like, it, like if you like something, because some people are like, if I like something, I want that thing I don't want. Mm. But you seem to be someone who's like, I like this. I like Taco Bell. But if Taco Bell made a hamburger, you'd be like, well, I'm going to try a Taco Bell hamburger. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I just got the, uh, the chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich taco today. You know, Dewin <laughs> just texted me like out of the blue, like, yo, try this. <laughs> it's actually fucking it's great. Really, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but no, I'm always, I'm always like, I am always open for that because I just like trying new things. And most of the time those things aren't great, it's, but it's fun to just try a new thing. It's so funny. Like, cause you're so like, it, that's so fun. Like, uh, I, I don't know, I can't like uh, articulate this. Like I'm so dead set in my You're ways. You're so dead set in your ways, <laughs> but you are very exp exp ex exploratory. Mm. Like you're like, oh, I'll try this new, and then like nine times out of 10, you're like, nah, it's not, this isn't really, <laughs> you're like, this is a good sentence, I'm not. <laughs> but like that, yeah. like, well, I guess bands is different. Bands, I, a lot of us are just like, we all try to give you new stuff. But Leia, with food, like you, you are like you're like all right, yeah. Because like I, we have we have Ted's here, we have Poblanos here, and then when I was like on the border, you were like all right, like <laughs> this is a new thing, yeah, go try it. Because you guys tried it right like in the past and didn't like it, but then you were like I'll try it again because you're like I don't know, I feel like you guys have come around on it a little bit. Um, it's fun. I mean, yeah, it had been a long time since I stepped foot in there, so. <laughs> Just the chips are just so much better than anywhere else's chips. I can't. Uh... I mean, if you watch the show, you know that that's all I talk about constantly. Well, um, do you think, and like, okay, so back to the like, dietary whatever staple. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you think, because it, it is like, whether you want to admit it or not. <laughs> it is like a little bit of an obsession because you're so like, oh, I gotta know like the limited edition things and like, I mean, even just hearing you talk about it, it's like. Oh, I'm definitely it's like. Savanti. <laughs> I'm definitely a, a fan and you know, keep yeah. up with things. So is that like, and then I mean, I look around, you know what I mean? Like, is that, do you think that's a character trait? Like, do you think, when I like something, I like something. Yeah, but do you, like, 
do you think that's like a weak, like, did something, is that like a trauma as a child? Are you <laughs> not allowed to have something or like, was there like a thing? Like, is it a, th cause you're very a collector. Mm -hmm. It's like, you like the thing, like, and I mean, it's not even like, it's like you like Dr. Pepper, so you have to have like a million Dr. Pepper plaques. <laughs> like, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even like, it's not even like, oh, I just have to try blueberry Dr. Pepper. It's like, I have to have this glass bottle from 1920 like it's i wouldn't say have to have but it's like i come right across things have. yeah and i'm like oh that's cool do you do you think that's a per like do you think that's like do you think that goes hand in hand with like some other personality things or that's just like a quirk or uh, like i mean i don't think there's anything that caused it at all i've always like I don't know, like as a kid, like I had, you know, G.I. Joes and stuff, and I always took care of them, I think, more than most people, and I think I've always had an affinity for organizing things. Did you have to have the whole set? No, because, I mean, I didn't have any option to get the whole set. So oh, right, like your sure. mom didn't get them for you, you just didn't get them. No, yeah. Like, and, you know, if I <laughs> wanted anything, I had to do lots of chores, and, ah. you know. But I think that helped me have a respect for... <laughs> for stuff. Yeah. Huh. Cause I had to like earn it. <laughs> it's so funny because like, and I think your I think your friends do feel this way about you. Like you're minimalist, but you're also completist, which is such a weird. It is. Yeah, I have. Yeah, aesthetically, a lot of things are minimal. Even though this seems very crowded, but this is like a sort of yeah. Like, this is like a shrine. This yeah. is I don't know. But yeah, like if you look in, if you were to see my living room, there's not much going on. But if you were to look behind this camera, there's <laughs> 4,000 records. <laughs> and so it is a weird, there is a weird dichotomy there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not trying to like, no, I'm, you know, I'm just like, I know I acknowledge it's, I'm trying to like, I guess try and figure it out a little. Not figure it out, because I don't, you know, whatever, I'm not trying to fucking diagnose anybody. It's just like, because like some of our friends are like that, and then some of our friends aren't, and then the ones, like I feel like Dave isn't. Mm -hmm. And Rowan is. Yeah. <laughs> and like Dubin is, and Jesse Johnson is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, how, like how come these people are this way and other people are, you know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, I'm just. I'm, you know, I there is a thing, like I can think back to like when I was, getting into music and there was a like I would get into a band as a kid and be like I try to get everything yeah. and you know then that was just like trying to buy a, a tape or a record right. and, and then that as I came to have my own money then that expanded into well I'm gonna have a repressing <laughs> and, <laughs> and that kind of stuff so I don't know I've always yeah when I get into something I always really get into it and did it change at all for you when it became well, obviously not with the vinyl, but like when it became like very digital, were you able, because I know at first I was, I had a real hard time parting with CDs. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, 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 I need to have, and like, you know, and then I was like, no, Spotify, just stop it. It's <laughs> like, and now I'm like, I don't want any, like, if someone like hands me a record, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, I, don't, I, I might move again. I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want to bring that with me. I mean, I, I jumped onto iPods pretty early on, but that was also because we were touring, so it was like a convenience thing. Yeah. Um, so I've never been opposed to it, but obviously I still like having the real thing. And the thing that bums me out now, especially with CDs gone and like in a car, is like I so rarely will like put on an album anymore and actually listen to a whole album. Yeah. Like, I, I, that pretty much only happens at home when I'm listening to records. I'll, what I tend to do is move around a lot in a space that I didn't intend to move around in. So, like, I'll put mm -hmm. on an album being like, oh, I heard this band, I want to hear the rest of the album. And then I'll hit, listen to, like, three or four songs, and then it'll remind me of something, and or... I'll be like, oh, I bet the radio station for this is really good. Mm. And then move into this other, and I'll never hear the end of that album. Like mm. just for the rest of my life, that album is only four songs long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get past there. 
And I think that's a, a, a function of the of the streaming. Mm-hmm. All right. Any last uh, things about cereals? Um, Anything you gotta like share with somebody or need or? Well, I need more s'mores. So if anyone has any uh, any and tips, that's Kellogg's. Or, yeah. Anywhere they know it's at. Come on, Kellogg's. Get step your game up. What are you doing? Mike needs s'mores with a Z. Not the regular one. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's good. It's good, but I can find that. Oh, that's the difference. It's just that it's hard to find. Well, no, the one with the no, C is I think better. I got something. No, no, I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's the same, but it's harder to find. It created scarcity in your brain. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that was, the one with the Z has been one of my favorite series oh, okay, for right. a long time. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.